Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we do our match reaction for Romania and um for Turkey. So let's start with the first game we got here. It's Romania nil, Netherlands three. Netherlands, man, great win for them. Absolutely sensational win for them. At Romania, we're just simply abysmal on the day. Simply abysmal. And you have to give credit to what um uh, Netherlands did. For me, I think it was just a golf of two classes. You could just tell that both teams are just miles apart from each other. That first goal from uh, Cody Gakpo, fantastic goal. The Cody Gakpo almost scored against 63rd man, at the Mullen man. Coming off the bench, making an impact, scoring the first goal, 83rd minute, and then 93rd minute. So, for Netherlands, as I said, man, a very good win. My only concern for the Dutch, though, is the fact that I feel like Gakpo has to carry this attack. Because Javi Simmons, he is a good player, but his goal scoring just isn't it. And I'm sorry, I don't trust Depay to score goals. Bergwijn is also very ineffective. And I just don't really feel like Malin is really that guy that's a consistent goal scorer. And Weghorst, for me, is just off the bench merchant. Like, he's just a super sub. So that's my problem with Netherlands is that they're a solid team. They're a fantastic team. But I just feel like for Netherlands to go far in this tournament and to potentially win it, they need more than just Gakpo to carry them. Because I think Gakpo, for me, is Netherlands' best player. Without Gakpo, I don't think Netherlands make it this far. I think he is essential to this team. As for Romania, uh, it's it's hard to really talk about them. There's not really much to say. They were very bad in the game. I think they had one shot on target. But you you have to commend Romania. They made it to round 16. And they got their second ever wins the Euros this, this summer. So I think for Romania, this was always going to be a bridge too far. And even though I did predict the upset because I was very unconvinced with the Netherlands in the, round, in the group stage, I knew that Netherlands were the favorites. And I just thought there will be one upset in the round of 16, and this wasn't to be it. Now, we'll get to another upset in a bit. But um, just on Romania in particular, like I said, they were great on the day. I mean, they were poor on the day, but like I said, there's not really much. To, I don't think we should be too critical of Romania because, like I said, guys, they're just an inferior team to the Netherlands. Netherlands, man-to-man, -man, have a way more better team, a way superior team to them. And I think for Romania, they can hold, they can hold their heads high, you know. And I think their next ambition is to try to qualify for the World Cup because I... Correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong here. I don't think Romania have ever made... No, Romania made one World Cup appearance, I think. I don't think they made two World Cup appearances. So, who knows? With the UEFA getting expanded slots, and with some UEFA nations faltering, they could potentially qualify for the World Cup. They could potentially do so, guys. So, I think their next ambition is to try to qualify for the World Cup. I think that's the next ambition for Romania. And for Romania, as I said, fantastic for them in the Euros. Top the group. Um... And it's just sensational. But like I said, man, I think this was a bridge too far. And I think the Netherlands are just superior to them. So shout out to the Dutch, man. Shout out to the Dutch. Moving on to the next game we got here. It is Austria 1, Turkey 2, guys. Shout out to Turkey. Because this is a big upset, guys. This is the first time Turkey had made the quarterfinals of a major tournament since 2008. And 2008 is when they made the semifinals. And I think they lost to Croatia. No, sorry. They beat Cro did they lose to Croatia? I think they... I forgot exactly, but I think they... they I think it was... A, I forgot that match, but you guys let me know in the chat, uh, comments below. I, I'm sure I'm, I'm blanking out here, but Turkey, this is the, 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 this, this is the best Turkey have done in knockouts since 2008. That's incredible. So shout out, a round of applause to Turkey. And for Austria, as I said, man, it's hard for Austria to accept this defeat because I feel like Austria actually played really well in the second half and almost did the comeback, but Turkey just held on. And you could just tell in the first half where Austria and Turkey were the better team. You know, they scored that goal there from the corner. The first man in the game, probably not the best defending there from Austria. But you could tell that Turkey were on it. You know, they were creating chance. Of, they were creating chances. They just weren't clinical. And for Tur Austria, as I said, man, I've said this before. I'm going to continue to say again. Austria's attack is very underwhelming, guys. For how good the team is pressing-wise, how good the team is as a unit, this team isn't good when it comes to goal-scoring chances. And that's one of my major criticisms I've said with Austria. And this is where it came to bite them. Because they created chances, they just weren't clinical. They weren't able to score. Because this chance right here, man. The heart, man. Miss, man. Terrible miss there. They weren't able to get any shots on target that first half, which was very, very worrying for Austria, man. The second half, man, they raised their game. Second half, I thought Austria were fantastic. Turkey... Sturov dominated the second half, got that early goal there from the corner. Demerol again. And then once Turkey got that second goal, then they sat back. They sat back. And this is where Austria really started to take control. They really were desperate for the goal. They were doing everything they can. And then they finally get the goal that Gregoretz from the corner. 
And this save right there at the end. Let me see if I can put you guys the XG. Uh, not this save. Where is the save? In 90. Uh, where is the save right here? Was it the 94? Was it this header? Was it this header? Yilmaz. 94 minute was a big save. Huge save. Wait. Yeah, yeah. That was a save. Uh, Bong Munster there. What a save this was. This was a save. Huge save. The last minute of the game to deny... Um, to deny um, uh, Gun uh, to deny um, uh, Bogmanser there the 95th minute, 95th minute it was a huge, huge save. I'm trying to show you guys here the stats thing. Where is the 95th minute save? Where is the 95th? Is the 90? Where is the 95th? Why isn't it on here? Right here. I think it's talking about this chance, right? Bogmanser, yep, right here. This was the header. This was a chance for Austria to draw level and force extra time, and it wasn't to be. And Guno makes that incredible save. And that's how the game finished, man. Because honestly, guys, if Austria had scored that equalizer, we probably would go to extra time and Austria probably wins this game. But I think for Austria, what let them down was that early goal they conceded. And I think another issue for Austria is that they're just not good at breaking down low block teams. When teams play low block, they're just not good against those kind of teams. So for Austria, man, it's remain it's so sad for them to go out. You know, they are yet to win a knockout game since 1954 in the knockout stage of international tournament, which is so sad. And this could have been the year. This could have been the year for them after they topped the group and the uh, top the group. But it just shows you guys this is the beauty with international football. Upsets can take place, and you got to give credit to Turkey because what Turkey did was commendable. And the fact that they did this without Chal Nahu is also pretty outstanding. So shout out to Turkey, man, for doing the job. And yeah, man. So that's pretty much going to be about it. So guys, join me for my live reaction, guys, starting around ten minutes, where I'm going to break down the round of sixteen with a special guest of mine. A friend of mine will be there. So if you guys did enjoy, please run a like and subscribe and peace out.